Rats tourniquets, real versus Chinese reproductions. Let's check out the differences. All right, so here we go. Recently, I got this in a Spec Ops Global box. This is a real rat's tourniquet. Let's go ahead and open up. Got directions in on how to apply it. Right. Let's check out the difference. Now, real rat's tourniquets go usually right around $15. And this is a Chinese reproduction rat's tourniquet. All right. Now, right out of the shoot, I can tell the difference in quality. Like I said, these you only go for about fifteen dollars. This you can get for like a buck or two off of like Wish. So I mean, there is a big difference in price. But when it comes to a tourniquet, I mean, you're talking about something that you might actually have to depend on and save your life. So let's see what is the difference. First off, I can tell right now, the real rat's tourniquet. What is this? Guy? Three finger loop. Stop. Three finger loop. There's a direction on how to apply these. It tells you everything. Shows you how to do it and everything else. But let's go into detail. All right. As far as the metal clasp go, they're pretty much identical. I mean, the real is a little bit thicker versus you know the Chinese repro it's a little thinner but as far as design wise I mean they're pretty much exactly the same there there's no difference there I don't see any different whatsoever so yeah alright the only main difference other than the thickness of the metal is you have this rubberized piece here it comes all the way down about a good two inches where on the Chinese you got about an inch and it's sewed across there so there's that next up the material of the you can tell a major difference in this right out of the chute I don't know if you can see that or not this is like some kind of elastic you know something you find <laughs> sewn on the underwear where this you can actually see it. it's there's like a rubber core in there and I mean this stuff is thick compared to this it's you can tell the difference right out of the chute so other than that lengthwise we're talking probably a good eh, almost three feet on the real rats tourniquet and on the fake one I mean you're you're lucky for it to be two foot long so there's the other difference so yeah there is a major major difference in these tourniquets so there's your up close look all right so yeah here's your just to show you the difference in the length it stops there and that keeps going so I mean you got an extra whole another foot on top of there so yeah and I mean you can really tell the difference in it you know I couldn't even tell you the exact thickness of it but this is a very sturdy core I mean you're gonna really get some tension on that and really be able to pull on it to, and that's what you need I mean you really gotta when it comes to tourniquets, applying a tourniquet, you got to really wrench on it, you know, to, yes. I mean, somebody, your life or somebody else's life could be on the line. Is it worth saving a couple bucks? I don't think so. This is a piece of crap. Now, I could see having something like this if you're training or, you know, if you, uh, you know, demonstrating and different things like that where, because you're not going to really be able to bind. I've tried. I've put this on and I've tried binding up, you know, just to see, you know, is it going to apply? And you cannot get a really good uh, artery closure with this. I mean, it don't bind like this thing. This thing, it, 
it's almost scary <laughs> so yeah guys that's the difference between a real rat tourniquet and a fake spend the money get a real one it ain't worth being a, a cheap you know cheapo on uh when it comes to saving your life or somebody you love's life so hope you like this video like subscribe and see you on the next one guys